And so I guess, yeah, the point is like, that you've got to often, when, when you're looking at where you want to go in your career, you have to make compromises, right? And, and for me, taking, it was a move I took with the company I was working for at the time with Nielsen, and it was an opportunity to move to a new country yeah. to help establish a new office, which appealed to me. Yeah. Um, but I also had to weigh up the, the negatives as well. And part yeah. of that, well, not negative, but it was massive preparation to make sure that with, with the wage I'd get over there, that I could still live comfortably. So yeah. it was that balance between, okay, I know this is good for my career. I know it's gonna be good in that sense, but can I also make it work financially? Because yeah. almost like, what's the point in making it work for my career if then I'm, if I'm gonna be absolutely miserable for two years because I can't afford to Ooh. go to an Indian restaurant? Yeah, it's, so that's a tough decision. So um, something that people have to make in, uh, in careers, um, should I stay or should I go now? Um, yeah. It's something that, Sometimes it feels like a leap of faith because if you've been working somewhere uh, for a year, two years, you know the job, you're very comfortable, very comfortable in your surroundings. Um, and then an opportunity might arise and you mull it over for days, weeks, however long. But I suppose that could be part of your success really is that you've, um, you've actually, you've, you've bet on yourself to... Uh, because it's always, it's always going into something new, you're always gonna have those seeds of doubt that, can I do this? Um, have I got all the skills, etc. cetera, necessary? Um, but I suppose the, the evidence here is, um, and cheesy as it might be, but believe in yourself, back yourself. Um, you, you'll regret an opportunity missed more than a, yeah, something, that, um, something you failed at. Yeah, just